Today's the day. We resurrect the death cart. Probably not. It's gonna happen. Gabby's pulling some bell housing bolts right now, struggling. Hashtag struggle street. Get the wiring harness off, got the radiator out. So once we get that bell housing out, since the subframe's already dropped from when we were messing around with it, should be able to pull it right up and out. Yeah. So go ahead and comment below if you want Gabby to work on more cars. Comment below. Well, we're going to have a pretty serious setback. Apparently when we dropped the whole car a couple times, uh, we not only broke the manifold on the right side, but we cracked the bell housing because it was only attached to the top. So there it is. But there's no way I'm buying a new bell housing. So we're gonna have to pull the trans and then I'm gonna weld up that bell housing. Because the bell housing's cracked on the T56 and the LS is not going back in the desk cart today anyways, me and Jabby are going to head over and help our buddy stuff a 6 liter LS into what a, no, no it's, it's a Chevy, Chevy it's a, I think it's a 1500. 1500, it's a 1500 or something like that, it's like single a, cab. yeah, single cab, short box, so we're going to go give him a hand real quick, should be pretty good. All right. 
So you kind of missed a little bit because I left most of it in the car. And he can't look because he doesn't like vlogging. I think it's gay, but... He thinks it's gay. There's Chappie. But the six liters kind of in there. And we got the five speed on there. Well, he puts on his, his important voice. What am I going to do? You're a faggot. Not have an important voice. Yeah, it's just like your email. He needs an important voice. You're an important voice. Anyway. It's like it can't work. What's the uh, transmission on this? NV3500. NV3500. How does that shit mean? I'm giggling. He's the worst. Man. He's not camera friendly. Not at all. So right now we're trying to get the uh, the motor mounts positioned, but apparently you have to have P on P side and then D on D side. So The motor was out when I was doing it. Go okay. figure. But make it progress. I'm gonna stand it up so we can fast forward it. Charles, oh, do the whole mouth zoom in from the 90s. The oh, I've already given like several like weird shit to like. I keep doing tools like this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make spaceship noises. <laughs> so what are you gonna upload this to? You porn? Oh, yeah, you porn. Okay, we gotta use one of the U's. Well, we're gonna take a break from this and we're gonna come over to the 2J over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, 2JZ is lazy. Yep, yep, yep. Ain't, ain't using that. All right. So it wasn't very hard. We got it all bolted up. It's all in there. We're not going to be able to really progress anymore tonight. Uh, mainly because that guy is not camera friendly. And Roscoe wants to kind of be methodical about it and, and get everything cleaned up so that there it looks you. really nice when we go to finish it. Um, we're trying to convince him to throw a turbo on it. So if you want to see a turbo 6 liter in this tiny little pickup truck, as a complete sleeper, leave it in the comments below. It's got to flash comments below when you take comments below. Flash comments below. Now. Below. All right, guys. I think that's going to be enough for our Saturday. So I'll catch you guys later.